Hey guys, this is Abhijit. Welcome to my video. Uh, today we will cover the famous three-tier structure where you have a database layer, logic layer and UI layer. To go through uh, today's video, you do not need uh, much of qualification. As long as you understand uh, how Excel sheet works, uh, you should be able to understand this concept. Okay, And this concept helps you to make an app whenever you are building a web app or a mobile app. This concept will help you a lot. Okay. And it, it does not have any technical work as such. One skill which will help you is if you know how to use an Excel, right? And not a deep Excel knowledge, but at least how the, the data is stored in Excel. That will help. Okay. So we will quickly go and start with our layers, right? So, so basically one is database layer where you store the data. Then another is a logic layer where you do the, the validations and calculations. And then the third is UI layer. So we will go one by one on each one of this. So this is how the three tier structure. I also have a PPT where I can show you how it looks like, right? So the same layers you can, you may, you may see such diagrams if you are doing more of development, like uh, where, you know, uh, there is a presentation layer. Okay. Then there is a logic layer and then there is a data layer. So the same layer, which we have seen in the, on, on our uh, tutorial, it's the same, same thing looks like this, right? And the database layer stores the data, right? There are a lot of different uh, databases which you can use. Uh, these are like brands, right? So like in Excel, you have a Microsoft Excel, you have a Google Sheet. Similarly, in database, you have an open source PostgreSQL, okay? Uh, the data layer could be the file storage also. I will not get into that today. But very simple uh, application building. You need to know like what is data? Why do we need a database layer? And why do we have to store it? Uh, the other layer which we talked about is the logic layer where you know you do all the calculations and uh, uh, go to the database take the data do the calculations and show it to the user right so if you look at from the user point of view this is the user these are the laptop or mobile he's interacting with and this is called a presentation layer or ui layer right so that's your third layer so this is your this is uh, uh, the layer from user will interact whatever user will interact it will go to the logic layer on logic layer you write the apis right you can use the language called node Python, Java, right? Like in table is spent, it's, it's built on Node, right? So in logic layer, it takes the request from the user. It, it could be request could be like a login request, right? So it login and then logic layer will look at that, you know, your email is correct, right? Your password is correct, right? While, while doing that, right? It may need some of the stored information that time. So those stored information, it will take from the database layer because you have already logged in with me, then your email has to be in my database, right? While the database structure looks like this, but it's pretty much an Excel sheet. So we will go back to our, now we will go back and learn one by one these three concepts. Okay. We will not spend too much time on all the concepts just to make you understand how an app looks like, right? So let's go to the database layer first. Okay. For an example, you can look at uh, this also as an app, right? So like, like the one start learning tutorial sections, right? So this is also one web app, which has a database and whatever you are looking at it, is the presentation layer. I am the user. I am interacting with the with the app. Whatever I am doing it here, it has to go back to the database and then a uh, uh, verify, right? Or do something. So let's look at the database layer first. What is database? As I mentioned earlier, if you know Excel, you should be comfortable with database, right? So it's a simple Excel sheet where you can store data, right? So you can have an Excel sheet. You can go, go your column names and then you put your data. These, these data are called uh, rows, right? So these are like rows. These are like columns. So this is how the Excel sheets are there. I will also go to the database and show you. Yeah. So I will go back to the database also and show you. So in, in table sprint, right? If I go to the admin. So this is this is a database, right? So this is one table. Okay. This is another table. Another table does not have a data. The first table had some data. There is a third table, student registry. This also has data, right? And these data are same, like column names and row names, right? So your name is column. Email is email. Uh, a section is section, right? Computer is... Uh, com completion date is completion date, right? So these are column names and these are the rows, okay? If you want to bring data into a database, you can simply import from the Excel, right? And why you are able to import it from the Excel? Because the structure is same, the database is same, right? A table sprint uses a Postgres database for your knowledge, right? So this is whatever you see here, it's a table from a Postgres database, right? We will cover into our database uh, tutorial more about, you know, how to deal with database, how to put the data, how to take it out. These are very simple, uh, no coding uh, exercise, which you can do to understand, you know, how the data. So whenever you are building an application, 
data layer is very important where you can keep your user data. If you, if your customer is placing an order, the order has to sit somewhere so that you can use that order to deliver them, right? So, so that order data. If you are a travel agency, your booking data. If you are uh, running a restaurant, your menu data, right? So there are a lot of different types of uh, data. If you are selling product, all your products data, right? And when you are start building the, the, the tables or in table spin, we call it a worksheet. So table or sheet, when you start building, you end up creating a lot of tables for different types of data uh, and different types of uh, uh, requirement, right? So, so this is what the, uh, the, the simple way to understand the database. Now let's go back to our tutorial. Okay. Like, like here, like, you know, you have a student registration form. So this is like, if I, if I fill the form, if I, you know, the Google form also, if I fill the form, the data will go into my database. Okay. And I should be able to see the data here in my student registry. Right. So here in my student registry, I should be able to see one data. So like, like I entered one Abhijit Kumar and you can see here. My, my data is here, right? So, so, so that's the way, right? And so, so this is, this is, this is one of the logical example, right? Same thing, what I explained, Excel spreadsheet, it's same as a database table. Okay. So each one sheet, you can think of a table. You can create 10 table, 12 table, or 20 table, right? If you know a famous software called WordPress and all, then normally use 12 to 15 tables to build an application. You may end up building five to seven, eight, depending on, you know, how you store the data for your application and how your data is uh, cleverly stored so that you are not doing a lot of uh, data queries and all. It's, it's, it's in a, in a range like in a, in a way you can get the data when you want in a, in a easy way, right? So that's your uh, database. What does database do? It, it uh, organizes and safely uh, stores all types of information. So that's a small quiz, right? Let's go back to the logic layer. I already mentioned about the logic layer where, you know, yeah, anything which you do, right? Here, whatever we are doing, right? I will go, I will go through the logic layer or people call it middle layer also or, or people can call it API layer or layer also. Most of the time you will hear saying backend, backend. So people say backend change, backend change. But uh, there are changes at database, there are changes at API layer and then there are changes at uh, UI layer, right? So normally when you see that, you know, front-end developer, backend developer, so when you say backend developer, backend developer is dealing with uh, this logic layer, right? Where he's writing the logic and all, right? And this is uh, with the most important layer of the entire app, right? So what the logic layer will do? It works like in a smart assistant, right? So it uh, it can make decisions and follow rules automatically. It validates, uh, it, it it works like a security, right? You know, a user who is authorized to access my data, he can only authorize uh, uh, and check the data, right? It also lets you do the all the formula calculations on top of your database, right? We can look at one example here. So let's say try logging in, right? So if I just say ABC in email and try to log in, it can see that the validation validation checked in on the on the middle layer, and it's saying that this email does not exist in a database, right? Email not found in database. So that ABC is not into a database. It's giving you that error, right? So this is this is happening at a logic layer. So you had an Excel sheet or a Postgres database or anything where you have stored the data. Now you have somebody in between, which is called logic layer. At logic layer, the languages which you use, I already mentioned Node, Java, Python, any language, right? Which you can use to do this, this logic, right? In, in age of AI app development and notebook development, you do not need to write this logic. The products are built in a such way that they do the logic for you, right? So you don't have to write any code while building the logic layer nowadays. Another day, another example is form validation. If I just say five, age must be 18 and older. So the, at, at this one, the logic is that this field should not accept more um, age less than 18, right? So, be, so without logic layer, with logic layer, so with logic layer, passwords are verified and secured, only valid emails are accepted, age requirements are enforced, smart decisions protect your app, right? So these are the logic layer. What happens in the logic layer? It makes a smart decision and enforces rules, right? Now we'll go to the final layer. The final layer is the UI layer, which you are looking at it also. So that's your UI layer, right? So what is UI layer? Beautiful storefront, a control panel, buttons, UIs, through which your end user interacts, right? As we saw in our architecture diagram also, the user will interact on laptop or on mobile, right? So when, when we, when we uh, put a picture of a laptop or mobile, we mean very simple thing that on this, Laptop on my website is running. The user will interact with the website or on this mobile, my app is running or my website is running on this app. 
user will interact with this, right? So that is called your UI layer. There are a lot of small things you can do on UI layer also, right? Like like a number check, right? And and other things you can do on a UI layer also, right? But here, if you look at like UI comp and and we call it an UI component in React. So again, in Table Sprint, we use React to build your uh, UI. React is the mostly used uh, UI layer available and most flexible, so which lets you design a uh, good UI and all, right? So even the all the AI uh, builders, uh, including ours, use React to build your uh, UI and Tailwind, right? So you don't have to know about React, you don't have to know about uh, Java Node and all, but it's, it's just for your information that how the apps are built. And when you are imagining an app, you should think like this, right? So so this is like two, two, two form components. So one is login form, simple login form, and one is enhanced login form, right? So you can see the, the, the email address as an icon, password as an icon, here the email was simple. So these are like UI considerations, right? You know, and these are like just the, uh, the picture, right? These are the UI. Whatever you enter, press the button. So till the button design is UI, but you, once you press the button, it goes to the logic layer. Okay. It takes this data, whatever email you have entered, uh, and then go to the logic layer, interact with it. If logic layer decides that, you know, I need to look into my database, it will go to the database, check some data, and then return the answer to the UI, right? So that's how the, the UI layer works. So there are a few examples, right? A dashboard is also in UI layer. User profile page, these are all UIs where you can design interactive UI like tabs, right? Card views, table views, list views, right? You would have noticed on e-commerce portal, right? They give you a grid view, they give you a list view. Those are like different types of UI, but any data coming inside UI are coming from the database. Now, again, another thing like on the UI, you have this interactive switch UI styles and all, right? So this, these are like called static data. They are not changing with time. And they have, they have nothing to do with the user, right? So, so these are like part of the UI itself, like this button name, right? So we don't call button name as data. This is not data. This is just a button and its name. So this sign in, login, this enhanced login form, these are just the part of the UI. They don't form a database Excel or an Excel sheet. You don't want to write these things. So they, they just simply come from your UI. I will show you the UI code, how it looks like in the, in the table sprint. So if you go to the code in table sprint, so here it's a it's a very simple uh, HTML uh, learning HTML is very simple but uh, anyway you don't have to learn HTML so if you you can see here database layer okay uh, font medium so this is like UI is de design that that the medium font uh, uh, these are the the design classes so all these things AI takes care for you right and and design right so this database layer is here this database layer is uh, is here right in table sprint because we are on table sprint we can we can look at like uh, how do we change this UI also. So in the in the preview, preview uh, section, you can have uh, the app also, right? So here, if you see in, in preview, like if I go to the visual edit, so anything which is on UI, I should be able to click on and change it, right? So if I click on database layer, I would be able to change it because this is on the, on the UI side. It doesn't have to go to the logic layer and get into the database, right? So data, data you cannot change, but the UI pieces you can design and change. So these changes happens very fast, right? But if you want to change the, uh, let's say, if you go to database layer, let's say, right? And if you go to student records, right? So the records you cannot change, right? So records, may, you, you can see it's a, it's a different kind of settings here, right? So these records are coming from your table. So if I go to the table, if you go to the table and uh, look at the student registry, so this is, this is where you see the records. So these records are coming to your UI in preview. Right, so those records change. If you want to change those records, you have to change it, change the data into DB. Right, if you want to change the UI, change the colors and all, those are all UI layer. So, hope you like this video. I try to cover in a very basic uh, way to uh, how we build an app. Right, and uh, you can subscribe to our uh, channel, okay, where we I keep posting. So, this is part of a bigger course in, in which we are going through all the concepts of app building. Uh, what are the how to use table sprint as a tool but there are other tools also which you can use to build your app okay so i know table sprint better so i'm doing it with the uh, uh, table sprint uh, thanks for your time